it is best practice to ensure that you are trading responsibly, regardless of how much you are trading. With simple tips and methods, you can reduce unnecessary risks and make sure you're only trading what you can afford to lose. For some people, it can be easy to get carried away. Watch all our videos to determine your proper limits and improve your overall responsibility if you want to learn how to better manage your trading. What exactly is responsible trading? Trading crypto properly entails more than simply keeping track of how much you purchase and sell. Rather than acting on emotions, you should be in control of your trading behavior. You also need to take accountability and understand if the trading activity you're doing really works for you. There are several methods to invest in or trade cryptocurrencies. Futures and margin trading are riskier alternatives that might yield huge rewards via leverage. Some traders may find it difficult to use these responsibly. Buying crypto on the spot market and hodling is a safer option and might be more suitable for your risk profile. Responsible traders will avoid actions and behaviors that might lead to irresponsible trading. Recognizing when your decision making may be negatively influenced is an important part of trading cryptocurrency responsibly. This talent takes time and practice, and it's normal for beginning traders to trade impulsively or depend on gut instinct. The less you do this, the better. 8 Strategies to Help You Trade Crypto Safely Trading cryptocurrency properly necessitates the management of many facets of your trading activity. It does not begin and stop with the buy, sell button. Try to include as many of the following suggestions as possible into your daily routine. It may seem to be a lot of advice, but it will help you improve your trading abilities. Keep your trading account and wallet safe. Before you even start trading, the best thing you can do is secure your account. It makes no difference how well you prepare your transactions if your cash, account, or password are hacked. There are many methods for doing this, including the use of two-factor authentication, 2FA, the creation of a strong password, and the whitelisting of withdrawal addresses. The same restrictions apply to your private key if you utilize an external Bitcoin wallet. You should never reveal your private key or seed phrase with anybody, just as you should never divulge your bank account information. Make a trading strategy. Making a strategy and sticking to it is the greatest approach to avoid allowing your emotions to interfere with your trading. In this manner, unexpected wins, losses, rumors, or FUD will not interfere with your decision making. So, what goes into a trading strategy? Your strategy should include the kind of trades you intend to make, the trading circumstances, and your trading goals. Your risk tolerance and trading style will decide your limitations. You should make your trading strategy with a clear head and be willing to stick to your decision subsequently. Your trading strategy may include the following elements. How much, if any, leverage you wish to utilize. Specific trade entry and exit pricing. The maximum amount of investment as a proportion of total capital. How well diversified is your portfolio? Your crypto asset allocation. When should you quit trading? Time, volume, etc. Maximum monetary losses. The goods or assets you trade in. Make use of stop limit orders. You can't constantly be staring at a screen, and with crypto being so volatile, you may suffer unexpected losses. Leaving large amounts of crypto vulnerable to volatility is not a responsible way to trade. Once you've established a trading strategy, you may simply keep to it by using stop limit orders. Assume you paid $15,000, US dollars, for one Bitcoin, BTC, and the price of Bitcoin is now $40,000. You want to ensure that if the price drops, you won't be able to sell for less than $30,000. This will result in a $15,000 profit for you. You may automate this by placing a sell stop limit order. You begin by setting the stop price at $32,000. This is the price at which your limit order will be activated. You then set the limit price to $30,000, implying that if the stop price is achieved, your 1 BTC will sell for $30,000 or more. Your stop limit order has the highest probability of filling if there is a gap between the stop price and the limit price. If there is no gap, the market price may go below your maximum price without satisfying your order. It's important to remember that a stop limit order isn't always guaranteed to fill, but when it does, you'll always receive the price you specified or better. Check out what is a stop limit order for additional information on how to utilize them. Conduct your own research. This advice applies to trading and investing in coins on exchanges as well as using decentralized finance, DeFi, products.
Only you know your risk tolerance and what is appropriate for your portfolio. Before you begin investing or trading, make sure you understand where you're putting your money. Diversify your portfolio. If you decide to develop a trading strategy, you should consider portfolio diversification to reduce risk. Having just one or two investments in your portfolio is risky. As such, you can diversify your holdings by investing in different assets across multiple asset classes. You can begin by defining your asset allocation in crypto. You may invest in DeFi liquidity pools, staking, derivatives, stablecoins, and altcoins. You are less likely to suffer large losses if you limit your exposure to a single crypto class. For example, you may suffer a temporary loss from a liquidity pool in which you are invested but offset your losses through staking gains. Then you may diversify within these various asset types. To reduce your overall portfolio risk, you could hold BUSD, USDT, and PAXG as stablecoins. However, they are just instances. There are numerous responsible ways to plan your crypto portfolio. Stay away from FOMO. Many traders have FOMO, or fear of missing out. However, you must exercise caution in how it impacts your behavior. Fear of missing out on an investment opportunity can lead you to abandon your limits and trading plans in favor of rash decisions. We now have unprecedented access to information through the internet, social media, and other communication channels, leaving us all vulnerable. While it is possible to explore and uncover wonderful investing possibilities online, you should always be wary of shilling. Users with nefarious financial objectives will promote their currencies or projects regardless of their true worth. Shillers will use FOMO to influence traders' emotions. If you start to feel like you're losing out on an opportunity you've never heard of before, take the time to properly examine the project before putting your money at risk. FOMO may be caused by a variety of factors. Recognizing them can help you realize its triggers. Twitter, Telegram, Reddit, and other social sites are full of gossip, fake information, and shills. DYOR is always a good idea. Many influencers are paid to promote projects and cryptocurrencies, and fraudsters may use your fear of missing out to steal your money. Gains. When you're on a winning run, it's tempting to be irresponsible with your profits. You may also be overconfident in your talents and continue to make incorrect selections. Even if you've earned a tidy profit, this might heighten your interest in additional, huge, investment prospects. Losses. As you try to recoup your losses, your FOMO may intensify. You may even enter a position, exit after making losses, and then re-enter the position because of FOMO. Both of these can result in even greater losses. Rumors and gossip. Hearing information from other traders or the internet can make an investment appear appealing. Rumors, investing advice, or suggestions for a popular cryptocurrency, on the other hand, should never be used in lieu of thorough investigation and analysis. Volatility. Big price variations in both directions create possibilities for generating money. Whether you're investing and expecting the price will go up or shorting the cryptocurrency market in a downturn, it may be tempting to get carried away. You can also consider a negative market as a wonderful time to invest but end up catching a falling knife. Understand leverage. The thought of borrowing cash on margin or futures to achieve higher profits might seem tempting. However, with this comes the risk of getting liquidated and losing all your cash rapidly, since your losses are magnified too. Liquidation isn't necessarily bad if you stay within your limits. However, losing more than you intended or risking too much money isn't prudent trading. Before you start employing leverage, be sure you understand precisely how it works. You may have seen leverage displayed as a multiplier like 10x, multiplying your initial capital by 10. $10,000 leveraged 10x provides you $100,000 to trade, and your original money is utilized to cover your losses. Once your capital runs gone, the exchange liquidates your position. Leverage trading may be used recklessly. It has a considerably larger risk, so be sure to properly read coin margined futures and USDT margined futures to grasp the hazards completely. Binance also safeguards novice users by restricting their leverage to promote prudent trading. Closing thoughts. Bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. Thank you for watching.